So what we're going to do here is I have a Zealtronic ignition on the other side of the bike and we are going to calculate what the static timing is by using a dial gauge and a timing mark and then using a dial back timing light. But to figure all that out we need to figure out where top dead center is. So the first thing I did was take the plug out, take the cover off, take all the body work off. Put in the uh, dial gauge I got from Economy Cycle and then go ahead and mark the rotor. And I already checked it but I'm going to do this for demonstration. So check it on the number one cylinder being the left and you get it down and you can look at the gauge and as I roll it forward you see the needle start moving. Now what I'm going for is top dead center. When the needle stops moving you have hit top dead. Since I already had it set right there it's top dead center. And you can see what I'm doing with the wheel here. Now this has a mark here or a casting which I put a sharpie mark on and then there's a little mark I made called it with a T there and as I line that up that should put it right at top dead center and if you look at the gauge there it is. So now we know where that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gauge out, fire the bike up, run it and then we'll uh, talk about doing, set it, figure out what the static timing on this is so that we can then program the zeal. <clears throat> so here's the programmer, there's the ignition, and we're going to go ahead and load in a curve that's going to be flat. So I'm going to set it to 20 degrees to run at all RPM. And uh, we're going to do an initial setting of 30 degrees static timing. This is set up for an RZ, so it's 34 or whatever the RZ curve is, but we're going to go ahead and change that. So we're going to go ahead and set the ignition, and we're going to run through there. Load the ignition curve. We're going to go ahead and make curve 2 the tuning one. And then we're going to set the static angle. Now what, what I've read is 36 is about right, so we're going to aim for that. 36.5 actually is what I read. We're going to verify that. We're going to set it. Number of points. We don't need that many. We're going to do four. So, at initial, we're going to set this thing to 20, which will be plenty safe for it to run. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this up quite a bit. Set this at 20. We're going to set this over the other one. We set this to 20. These don't really matter, you just don't want it to start dropping on you. So we have four points, one, two, three, four, all set at 20. That curve is going to be flat, like it has points in an old air cooled. And then we're going to save it. We're using two. We've got the rev limiter set at 11.5. I'm probably going to keep it there. Set a gangle at 36.5. Compensation at 30. Switch off. Pulse per rev. 
and then exit. So I'm gonna fire the bike up and we're gonna look at it with the timing light. Timing light's already connected down there. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's running. The uh, timing light is set at 20 degrees. And if you look at it, the mark's off. firing late. So we can adjust that with the static angle. So if it's firing late, change it there. We're going to set it to 34. See if it's closer. playing with the static angle until we get that where it lines up. Okay, so what I'm running with now is 20 degrees preset on the flat curve. It's lining up and it holds there. Static angle, 40 degrees. It's kind of weird. But as nobody seems to really know, we're going to go ahead and load curve two. Which is the recommended one. Should be at 15 degrees. So I'll set it to 15. Fifteen there. Fifteen there. Fifteen there. Should be right. <laughs> 